Alright guys, so today I was going to be showing you this card trick involving the two red queens and just a packet of cards. So, uh, before I begin, I just want to say a quick shout out to my friend Colin Bowen for actually showing me this trick, guys. And um, anyways, here's what it looks like. So let's say uh, you pick a card here, and this is, happens to be in between the two red queens. And I'll go ahead, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, let's say you were to pick this card here. I don't really want to look at it, but this is your card. And now all I'm going to do is take your card and put it somewhere in the middle of the deck. Maybe get it lost like this, shuffle up the packet a little bit, and then we can get started. So I'll take one queen, put it on the bottom, or one queen on the top, one queen on the bottom. And as you can see, your card is somewhere in between them. But all I'm going to do is count them out. So let's say I have B, E, T, W, E, E, N. And then we go to between T, H, E, the... And then T W O R E D Q U E E N S. Put it all on top. And as you can see, guys, we should have one card in between the two red queens. And this card is, or should be, your card. So uh, this is a trick, guys. And if you want to learn how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, guys. So here's going to be the tutorial for the trick. So. Um, it's basically self-working, so you don't really have to know too much um, about card magic in order to do this. Um, basically, you're just going to be shuffling um, the cards around, and anyways, here's how you're going to start off. So, you want to take um, the queens out, the two red queens, and then you want to take 13 random cards. They can be any cards in the deck. Um, it just has to be 13 cards. So, now what you do is you can go up to Spectator, and you're going to have the queens just sandwiching the deck like this, and you tell the Spectator that you're going to have them pick... Um, a card randomly from the middle, but you kind of emphasize the fact that they're in between the two red queens You just kind of do this for the sake of the trick So they take a random card out It really doesn't matter what it is and then you can just take the Queens off because you want to shuffle up the pack a little bit um, Without the Queens in there. So let's say the spectator gets their card in this case the two of clubs um, Now in this case, you know, it really doesn't matter if you see it or they see it But uh, it usually just works better if you just have the spectator look at it and you tell them that you're going to take their card and all I did was I just opened up this little packet here, stuck the card in, and all I did was just push down, and as I pushed down, I just created a little break, picked up the top packet with my right hand, peeled it off, and just cut it down to the table very quick. So it looks like the card is kind of getting uh, mixed up in the deck, but in reality, it should now be on top of the deck. So now what you're going to do is do a little shuffle, just taking one card, moving it to the bottom, and if you want, you can do a bottom retention, by just keeping your uh, middle and your ring finger contact on the card and you can leave it there on the bottom just like this shuffle it up and it just gives um, the illusion just a little bit more um, realistic looking because if you keep shuffling up the deck like this they're going to assume that, they, that you don't really know um, where the cards are so at this point their card should be at the bottom you're going to take one queen put it on top and then the other one goes on the bottom like this and you tell the spectators that their card um, it's somewhere in the middle of the uh, between the two queens, but you want to get them a little bit closer together. So you tell them you're going to spell it out. So all you have to do now is spell B E T W E E N, and then you want to drop the cards on top of those, and you spell the. So you put T H E, and then you drop the deck, and then you put T W O, and then you drop the deck. Now. Um, the way to tell if you're doing this right is when you spell red, um, a queen should be where the E is. So you have R, E, D. So if a queen's in the middle here, when you spell red, you know you're already on the right track. And now all you have to do is spell queen. So Q, U, E, E, N, S. And you put the queen down. And the S should be a queen there. And you put the cards on top. You can fan it out. Show it to the spectators that in between the two red queens you actually have their card so you take it out and show it to them and this is a trick guys it's really easy um, it's self-working and I hope you guys like it and as always thanks for watching